it's happening. Finally, after a long delay, we're gonna be able to play X Defiant again. And if all things go according to plan, this week. So we've got a lot to talk about here in this one. Drop your thoughts, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, or if you're just looking forward to playing the game again. And make sure to subscribe for more X Defiant and other FPS coverage. Love to have in the community. And also, if you want to follow the short form content, check out the TikTok link down below. But anyways, let's get into it. In a report from Tom Henderson of Insider Gaming, it's alleged that this week is about to get pretty interesting for the game and fans. It's mentioned Insider Gaming has learned that X Defiant is gearing up for its server test session to take place on April 19th. Following Insider Gaming's report on the toxic work culture behind X Defiant, the team soon released a new update on its social media channels, which confirmed our previous reporting that the game was delayed and that another test session would be coming soon to test the game's issues. If the current internal testing goes well, this test is set to take place on Friday, April 19th. Despite the original announcement stating that it would be a 12-hour session, Insider Gaming understands that if all things go well and the team doesn't face unprecedented issues, the test is scheduled to run the entire weekend and end on Sunday. Sources have said that it's almost a guarantee and an official announcement should be made in the next day or two. Following the test, it's been officially confirmed that the team expects to be able to lock a launch date, which is understood to be tentatively targeting a summer release date. As officially confirmed, the playtest session will only be available for Xbox Series S and X, PlayStation 5, and PC. As previously reported, the past generation versions of the game have been cancelled, and we hope this information will be officially conveyed soon. Don't usually say this on reports, but given X Defiant's turbulent development, take this information with a pinch of salt. Anything can change, especially when X Defiant is concerned. So first and foremost, what an announcement. Though not officially speaking, I was expecting this to be something that was probably in April here in this month, but probably more so towards the later portions of the month. So seeing this now in the middle, it's pretty cool. It gives me a bit more feeling of like priority to getting the game played, which is awesome. And also it means I finally won't be reusing the same eight gameplays that I've used for like eight to 10 months now at this point. So hyped about that. But with this being Friday, it also leaves time for the prior mention of how they likely just announced the playtest and a preload about two days earlier, as they did with the last playtest back in September. So still some time for this to be officially announced, but honestly, I'm assuming they're just going to be like, hey, here's the preload, get ready to play this. We're going to have a weekend here to play, which is pretty cool. Now, while nothing has been officially stated just yet, again, on any of this, I would imagine here that we're going to see what we saw with the last playtest, where you basically have the full game essentially to play with, or at least the vast majority here of it. But the only thing that you'll have to take into consideration is that while that you'll have a lot of this stuff to play around with, a lot of stuff probably unlocked is my guess. You can experience everything. There might not be a progression system associated with it. I don't know if that will be the case or will not. But the thing that will absolutely be the case is that none of the progress you make here will transfer to the full game. It's just a way to test the servers and the underlying networking systems in a live environment. So just know that going in that everything you do here is just going to be for fun. It's not going to transfer to the full launch of the game. And the final note on the PTS is that I'm glad that if reported and it's 100% happening as such, I'm glad that it's going to be more than just a 12 hour test session as previously reported. Frankly, while I know nothing of game dev or network engineering, I personally thought it didn't make really any sense to stress test for a singular day and not even a full day at that point. I figured multiple days to make sure all was in order would be the better course of action. We mentioned it recently where if like you were to test a game for 12 hours and just to theorize start it at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is what a lot of games do, you're missing out immediately in the Pacific time zone on like seven hours West Coast where most people that would want to play perhaps probably have jobs that they have to work that are standard nine to five. Now, obviously everyone's different. Not everyone works nine to five Monday to Friday. And there's always going to be a window of time where some people will miss out, but it just felt odd to me that you'd undercut yourself like that from the very beginning when the premise is to test the network development further under the largest possible stress loads to simulate a real in-game environment once it's actually out there and playable for everyone. Seeing it turned into a weekend test, seeing that whole genuine ebb and flow of player logins on the highest potential login port portions of the week, that's huge, I personally think, and makes so much more sense in regards to testing that stuff out if you want to get adequate testing done. That's just me, but anyways, that's the final thing I want to touch on with the PTS. But next, a summer game release target. I mean, here we go again, we've heard this one before, but I'm hopeful that with the start of summer being June 21st this year, if we're actually looking at this window, I'm hoping that if we're going to have a successful PTS here later this weekend, that we're leaning towards the beginning of that window this time, not later in the year towards the end of September, as was initially considered last year. 
However, whether it be a byproduct of development or what, I do think that that previously mentioned window of like, oh, they have time that we've talked about since the new year back in January and February, we're going to be like four months behind that initial mention of that discussion. So even if the game launches in June, that's great and all to finally have it out there, but it won't have as much uninterrupted or unimpeded time to focus on that game in the FPS space because there is going to be competition in the not necessarily near future, but like just over the horizon. I don't mean to say this in like a sense of a good or bad, just objectively speaking. Summer and beyond is when we start to see other FPS games, especially in the COD scene, have reveals of note. Early June is looking to have that Gulf War reveal. I'd imagine August is that COD XP and multiplayer beta reveal. September of some kind for zombies, probably. And then we get into the October window where it's potentially two weeks early access for campaign, one for zombies, and then a full multiplayer and regular game release late October, as is currently theorized and reported from industry insiders. So if that's all the case, you went from having potentially February to October uninterrupted for players to grind out the game and have really full control over that FPS market, save for when like larger FPS games would drop a new season of content for like Modern Warfare 3 or like Battlefield 2042 just had their season seven launch. So you'd have anywhere from like 10 months to have kind of full reign on what was going on in the spring, summer and early fall for that down to about four ish months now without competition along the way. Still plenty of time to launch a game and have that window. And honestly, if you look at COD cycle, if it's anything to go by, X Defiant could see some struggle four months in as well, because that's usually whenever COD and earlier dies down every single year. People get hyped for the launch, get hyped for season one and the new content, that first offering, plus all the Warzone stuff. And then come January and February, well, people are already like, yeah, I don't like the game anymore. I don't I don't want to play. So like, there's still plenty of time. Absolutely. You just you don't have as much. Again, not saying that in a good or bad way, just objectively speaking. So either way, I'm still excited for what's to come. I know that plenty of people have given up on the game. And that's fine to each their own. I'm just looking forward to playing something again at the very least. I missed the latest PTS back in September, so it's been even longer for me since I've had a chance to get hands on with the game. But at a larger glance, I'm just happy for any players and fans and the development team as a whole that things appear to finally be moving along and that we might finally be able to get out of this whole perpetual release window drama, get that behind us and just enjoy the game community. I'm looking forward to having another arcade shooter to grind out to play occasionally after a couple of months i'm probably not going to be grinding it as much as i usually do that happens with every game but i'm looking forward to having a game to grind initially to play casually whenever i want to jump on and having other things to grind out like a new camo grind in x defiant as well but yeah, looking like this week we'll be able to play X Defiant once again. So if you're like me, you're interested, keep an eye out. There's going to be a lot of stuff to go over here this weekend. So looking forward to it. But that said, that is we're going to wrap it up. Before we wrap everything up, though, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for what I firmly believe are the best blue light glasses on the market. I've worked with these guys for three years now and cannot recommend them enough. They're the most lightweight, comfortable, and durable frames out there as far as I've used. And I definitely think they've helped my daily productivity. Now, full transparency, they are a bit more of an investment, but... I think your vision is absolutely worth investing into, especially if you're like me, you're looking at a monitor, your phone, or you're gaming for a good chunk of the day. If you guys would like to learn more, at the very least, I'd recommend checking out their website where they can better break down the science and all the specifics of their product way better than I could. But what I can say personally is that I'd recommend them for my use. If you would like to learn more, check the link in the description below. And if you'd like to pick something up for yourself, use code ESPRESSO to get 10% off your entire order. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Looking forward to this new playtest in X Defiant. Not so much. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, you found it out on Insightful, though, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things X Defiant and other FPS content. I'd love to have in the community. For now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.